Daria, good morning to you. I'm just switching over to Cron now. I've been watching the Antenna Channel. Oh, have you? Really? A little old-time TV for you? You enjoy wow, Audrey Magini? we got three stations now. We can feature all of us. <laughs> so, uh, well, we're, everybody's still talking about the Super Bowl, obviously. I know you are tonight on Sports Night Live, right? Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll uh, recap uh, and, and probably more to the point where they're going from here. Well, and... and where are the 49ers I don't even are going? Have to wait. Where are they going from well, here? Well, here's the thing. I know that a lot of people have been talking about, oh, gee, Kaepernick, maybe. I know where I'm going from here. Excuse what? me for interrupting. You know where I'm going? Where are you going? Right up to management. I want my clothing allowance. Again? To make good grief. <laughs> Gary, be a smart shopper. Get a tie. A no, I can't wear a tie until <laughs> my neck gets thinner. Confining. Is it confining? No, my neck is, I don't know. And, you know, I've just when you get older, you've got ailments, and then you <laughs> you have to take a certain drugs to keep yourself healthy and happy, and I'm, I'm working myself right into the ground. All right, listen. What I, what I want to talk about is what you've been having to talk about on the radio. How about my health? I know. I, I, you, don't, you notice I didn't say, how are you? I don't care about your health. <laughs> okay. so, so I know you've been talking about the radio. Like, everybody's dissecting the 49ers, where they go, like it's you just said. Me. A lot of people are saying, or some people are telling you, should we get rid of Kaepernick? Really? They're oh. The guy's barely even started. He's new. Harbaugh's new. The team's been doing great. And... Really? Daria, listen to me, and I'll, like, I explained this to a caller yesterday, all yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. If you're, and he, he said they never should have got rid of Alex Smith. Now, if you really believe that, yeah. and I was talking him off the ledge, then that <laughs> means Harbaugh, who spends 20 hours a day, probably, he probably takes two weeks off, 50 weeks a year, right. 20 hours a day working on this. He, he, when Alex Smith was the top-rated uh, quarterback efficiency guy in the league, he, he just said, hey, I'm going to replace him with Kaepernick. Then you're basically saying you know more than Jim Harbaugh. Yeah, well, exactly. And I think if you look at their track record, how are these people arguing to get rid of Kaepernick or, they're not saying Harbaugh, but it, like you said, Jim knows what's going on. And, and the, the team has been, the, we used to be happy when they won six games. Yeah. Now, three years in a row, they go to the NFC Championships. Yeah, and I want to be fair. You know, people. And the Super Bowl once. Thank you. <laughs> and that, but that's what's fun about sports we can all comment you know and say they should have done this they should have done that right but I am serious about this if you're gonna have really like a good discussion on well that was a bad pass or that was okay fine we're looking at it and Kaepernick made a bad pass at the end of the game yeah but these guys look at these guys every single day in practice right and I, I think I told you this before Harbaugh's looking at Alex Smith he's looking at Kaepernick and he goes this guy he has just so much talent right that I think for us to continue to go year after year to the playoffs I'm, I'm gonna go with this guy and you know, if you're saying that Kaepernick, uh, sh you know, should go, then that m you're basically saying Harbaugh should go too. He yeah. doesn't know what he's talking about. And uh, you were, you, which I'm sure every man always loves to hear. You were right. Well, of course. You were right. I don't even on, know what it is, but of course. It's st we're still shaping up to be Sherman versus Manning because it's all about the publicity. And Sherman is the guy who's now it's going to be like, you know, he, he's been so polarizing that now those people that were looking for someone to root for will root against Sherman and for Manning just because they're so upset with the hubbub. Yeah. And 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 those who love it and think it's funny and and our and our Seahawks fans or whatever, there's a new T-shirt which is hilarious. Okay. I mean, what do you got? I can still laugh about the t-shirt do we have this t-shirt so i just ordered one today for our producer zito who you love are you serious i'm serious don't you ever talk about me i, <laughs> I love this t-shirt there's already been like a thousand orders for this thing you know yeah. where i mean yes and zito who's done a fabulous job at being level-headed and and all 49 are up to right up to the championships is a seahawks fan well you know what's going to happen here daria is that and it happens in in any walk of life when when people get mad at somebody right yeah yeah and then you start, then you're really paying attention to him because he's got you, right? I yeah. hate this guy, I hate this guy. Then the more you watch him, you like last night I watched him sign autographs. He was doing some kind of press deal. Yeah. And you say, kind of like that him. guy's pretty, well, I, yeah. hey, I didn't mind him before. Yeah, because yeah. I think it was, I, I, there was an article in Sports Illustrated last summer, Daria. Yeah. And honest to God, she was, it was, if you go back and go online and read an old Sports Illustrated, it's talking about how he had his plans to get attention and to, you know, I'm going to become uh, more than just a football right. player. Right. And he was already talking about it. Right, you know? yeah. But my point is, then you watch the guy and you say, geez, 
He's not such a bad guy. All right. But, but to get the attention, you you know, you first have to do something to get on the radar of people. And now he's on the radar, and people are going to watch, and they're going to see. Hey, he's not a bad guy. He was a 4.0 student at Stanford. Right. You know, he, he comes from uh, Compton, a kind of a tough, rough, tough background. Look what he's done for himself. Hey, what he did was wrong. But the racist tweets and all that stuff, people got to get over it. All right. The one thing we have to talk about before we go is, like I said, forget about the football players. I want to talk about the cheerleaders. Yeah, You've the heard Raiders. about the Raiders class action lawsuit against the Raiders by cheerleaders, current and former, who say that they were not paid what they were due. They, they work their tails off yeah. and they make less than the concessions people. They make less than the mascot, by the way. It amounts to five bucks an hour. Yeah. No, listen, I, I'm not going to joke about this because I'm sure it means means a lot to those young ladies the, the only thing i'll say is no team in the league pays very well no they don't you, you do I, I i would imagine you know what it is going into it so i mean good luck to young at the very least you're going to embarrass the raider organization right maybe affect some change within the nfl but you, i think you know what what these jobs pay going in yeah well you do their argument is we we work very hard and we should be paid more than five bucks an hour it's and, and they say it's illegal by the way yeah. so that's their thing okay, yes okay well listen i wish anybody good luck if they feel feel like they've been wrong yeah yeah but, but good luck in court you know all right thanks here okay there